Well, now, I guess we're off to the shop. <laughs> no, the Ford's not going into the shop. Actually, the big Dodge is going to go into the shop to get those little leaks and things checked out and that stupid recall well done. So, since my wife's out of town, my mom and dad are heading out of town, my daughter's got two kids she's always busy with. I didn't want to bug her. This is how we're going to get to the shop. I'm going to tow my daily up to the shop and get the daily off the trailer, unhook the big truck, hook the daily to the trailer, and then drive the big truck over to the Dodge dealer, drop it off, walk back, and pick this up and come home. So that's what we're going to do. But this is my 21 foot uh, car trailer. And I've had this for quite a long time, since the mid 90s. A friend of mine in Wisconsin bought it in Texas in the early 90s. And just look at the patina on this thing. I mean, this is this is some classic patina we got going on here. I could probably get ten thousand dollars for this trailer. This thing looks so good. <clears throat> I mean, even down to the acorns in the in the frame. I mean, this is some good stuff. You know, we got two different layers of paint. We got mold growing on it. Nice, you know, rust on the wheels. It's fantastic. People pay a lot of money to make good cars look bad by doing this stuff. And I'll tell you, this is how you do it naturally. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. We even got moss growing on it. I bet some of those guys they don't they don't they don't have what it takes to get moss growing on their cars. You know. I'll tell you what, when they're patina in something, yeah, we got actual moss. <clears throat> Classy. So this thing, she's worth a fortune. I'll never get rid of it. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. But uh, yes, and that's the plan this morning. Gonna get the dodge up to the shop so they can take a look at those couple of leaks and maybe change that four-wheel drive actuator and then we're going to drive home towing the trailer with the old Ford so off we go and we're home no issues this trailer rides and tows so well I've always been amazed by it it's just unbelievable. Behind the big Dodge with the big truck with the little truck on it, smooth. Just towing empty like this, super smooth. Brakes are great. My Takansha P3 that I use in this truck is a fantastic brake controller. You can adjust it way down so you don't lock them up when you're towing empty, but that you still have some brakes. Just a fantastic trailer. So now. I don't have any way to move the big trailer <laughs> so I can get my car back on the little trailer. So I guess I got to make a run to uh, tractor supply and get a little hitch with a 2 and 5 16 ball so I can just move this thing a little bit and uh, then get that Firebird back on the car trailer. And we will be done. Y'all have a good one.